Next, uh, speaking on behalf of the Confederate Tribes of uh, Grand Ronde, uh, one of our uh, esteemed council members and uh, a very talented uh, float designer. In fact, he designed last year's entry, which for the first time in our history, won the uh, Al Reasoner Sweepstakes Award. Uh, and that's a tribute to his talents and to his ability, and we were very proud of that and uh, excited because it's the first time we've ever won that. I'd like to introduce uh, Steve Bob Senior. Thank you so much for that. Is this great or what? Boy, these lights, I don't know. I'm just trying to make me sweat here or what? I, I don't know. But thank you all so much for being here, for giving us this opportunity to be the title sponsor for this year's Rose Festival event. It's, it's just great. And I would like to welcome you on behalf of the council, all of our members, our great staff, welcome you to the homelands of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ground. And that word homelands, is going to keep coming up here as I, as I speak. And I would like to take this time, this opportunity, to, to give you a little snapshot of the Grand Round people and try to impress upon you the, how significant and also important this opportunity is not only to the Spirit Round Casino, but to the Grand Round Tribe. And you hear the word tribe quite often too. And for us, the word tribe is very all-encompassing. Simply meaning that we are tied together by common thread. That we are all family here. Our uh, people, you are sitting, this is Grand Round. And where you are sitting here today is a small part of what used to be the 60,000 plus acres of the original Grand Round Reservation in which 27 different tribes and bands of our indigenous ancestors were herded upon in the middle of the 1800s. In 1954, with the Western Oregon Termination Act, that's kind of a daunting sounding word, isn't it? Termination? The termination of a people. The federal government came to us and they said, you're no longer Indians. Go out into the world and just be Americans. And severing all the responsibilities and obligations that they had to the Grand Round people. I was five years old at termination. And like me, all those that grew up in that era at that time, we did so without taking part in any kind of part of our traditional Native American culture. Dancing, singing, drumming, and crafts. So for 30 years, our culture faded. But because of the hard work, the stamina of a few people who wouldn't quit, who wouldn't give up, and wouldn't stop, in 1983, we were re-recognized as Indian people, restored by the Grand Round Restoration Act, signed into law by then President Ronald Reagan. So when we say homelands, in legal terms, ceded lands, ceded meaning that our chiefs, our leaders, and our ancestors of that time they signed treaties with the federal government in trade for health care, for housing, and for education for our people. Relinquishing, relinquishing land from the crest of the Cascade Range to the east, to the crest of the Coast Range to the west, across the Columbia River to the north and to the south, what is now Northern California. The entire Willamette Valley and then some. Treaties in which the federal government never kept. So the Portland metropolitan area is a huge part of our people's past. So, and in, also in our ceded lands. So you can get a feel and an understanding of the magnitude of the impact 
of what this opportunity means to us. This opportunity is simply not about putting our logos on banners on the street. It's not about putting our logos on mere programs. This is a connection to our past. A recognizing that today's Grand Round people and our ancestors who walked here, who had encampments here, who hunted, fished, gathered, and thrived here, that we are the indigenous people of not only this area, but the entire Willamette Valley. And it gives us the opportunity, the opportunity to do what we so long to do, to welcome all to the homelands of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Island. So, to be able to work with this prestigious organization, the Roads Festival, is not only exciting, and it is exciting, it's extremely meaningful. Who doesn't love the Rose Festival? Who doesn't know the Rose Festival? Who from this region is not aware of the Rose Festival? From the choosing of the beautiful Rose Court to the Grand Floral Parade and all the events that make up this grand event. Like our casino, we give people a chance to escape for just a short period of time to get away, to get out, to have fun, and to be entertained. This is what you bring to people's lives. And we wait in anticipation every year for this event to unfold. And we know that we can count on each time same time of the year, the people's excitement, the atmosphere, and the electricity of people having a good time. They walk away with a good feeling, with a smile on their face, and for a brief period of time, the hope and belief that all things in the world can be good. As Native American people, we stand each day and we give thanks for our Creator for the gifts and blessings that we receive each day. We also give thanks for the many rainbows in our lives. This opportunity for us is a rainbow in our lives. We thank you for this opportunity and the opportunity to work with you in years to come. We appreciate you being here and God bless you.